How nice it would be to have an electric eel booster. I know, right? Yeah, I know. The size just nice. So nice to hug, but then you'll get me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Constance and this is Bernie. Hi, I'm Bernie. And welcome to Mandai Monkey, your guide to enjoying Mandai Wildlife Reserve. We are going to have an electrifying time, right? Yes, we are. Today we will be checking out our electric eels here in River Wonders. So electric eels. Mm -hmm. Electrifying. Oh, yes. You no? Know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in case you didn't realise, right, our electric eels aren't in this exhibit anymore. They have a new home here in River Wonders. Let's go! Let's go! Yeah. Ta-da! <laughs> there are two of them. I thought there was only one. We always had two electric eels. Back in the old exhibit, they used to timeshare. But right now, they each have a space of their own. Over here, we have Tesla. And on the other side, we have Faraday. Wow, the names are so appropriate. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> so did you know that the electric eels were the inspiration for the invention of batteries? Oh, that's yeah. cool! Mm -hmm. Wow! These are cool animals. So, are they actually eels? Oh no, they are not true eels. In fact, they are more closely related to catfish as well as to knife fishes. Ah, yeah. what are they called electric eels then? <laughs> Electrifying. <laughs> <laughs> the electrifying. <laughs> So, other than the name cards, how else can we tell them apart? So you can tell them apart also by their physical appearance. So, Tesla is uh, much more slimmer, his tail is more rounded, and whereas for Faraday, he is much chunkier, and then he has a chip <laughs> tail. Common question we always get from guests is, where are our electric use tails? Well, they're there. Yeah, it's just that these guys, they are more chunky, yeah, hence they are a little bit hidden, but they're still there. So if you spend some time over here to observe them, you can really see their unique characteristics. Generally, the electric eels are very chill. Yeah, just like Faraday over there. But sometimes you will see that they have sudden bursts of energy. Just like Tesla over here. <laughs> For Tesla, he likes to hang out in his little hammock. Yeah, so if you take a look to the left side of the exhibit, there's actually this protruding root. Yeah, so he actually likes to hang out in between the roots. Does Tesla get stuck in that little area? So that's actually a very common question we get from guests as well. Actually, they can gauge whether they can fit into the oh. space. Yeah, and if they really do get stuck, they can actually easily reverse backwards. Thanks to their elongated anal fin, this allows the electric eel to move forward and backwards. <laughs> And then for Faraday, he actually likes to dig into the substrate. You can see sometimes he will wiggle himself like this and forming a little crater. I like to think that it's like him making a bit for himself. Yeah. Oh, maybe, so nice. Yeah, maybe and a pillow as well. Yeah, correct. Yeah, maybe he likes the <laughs> elevated angle. Mm, yeah. Okay, I also like my pillow higher. Same. <laughs> so if you see all the craters in the exhibit, yeah, you know that it's actually it was him that did it. Only Faraday likes to do it. Yes. So sometimes we also notice the electric use. Yeah, they will randomly face a wall. Yeah, or you can also find them staring off into space. Wonder what they're thinking about. Yeah, I wonder too. <laughs> I understand that the electric eels can generate up to 800 volts of electricity, which is enough to kill an adult human. How do you keep yourself safe when you're cleaning or feeding them? Whenever we are doing anything related to the electric eel, we will always need to put on rubber gloves. Yeah, so definitely no contact with the water and the electric eel. Ah. So even in the back of house, yeah, we also need to wear our rubber gloves because yeah, the current does pass through the water. Like even in the filtration system as well. Wow, that is strong. Or like when we touch the feeding stick to the electric eel body, you can feel the vibration. Wow. Yeah, you can feel the current. Yeah. For electric eels, they actually have very bad eyesight. So they rely heavily on their electroreceptors on their body. Here, we feed them prawns as well as assorted fish. Whenever it's feeding time, they will actually know. Yeah, that's because they will hear us opening the gate at the back. Oh. Once they hear that, they will start to swim up closer to the surface yeah, and start to swim around faster. A little bit like the sharks. Oh yeah, like circling, <laughs> circling around. So that is their hunting mode. So how do you clean the exhibit since you cannot touch the water? Do you don on like rubber soap and go in? <laughs> yeah, no, so what we do is that we have a very long vacuum. Yeah, that's attached okay. to a hose. Yeah, and that's where we will vacuum the gravel at the bottom. So if you notice that there are some leaves inside the exhibit, mm. right? Yeah, but that doesn't mean we didn't do our job. They are meant to be as uh, tannins in the water. Yeah, so they will stain the water and they will make it softer. What do you mean by making the water softer? This means that the water has low levels of dissolved minerals. Oh! Yeah. Electric use, they can be found in swamps. They live in tannin waters as well. Mm. Yeah. Just now I noticed that Faraday went up to gulp air. For electric eels, they are obligate air breathers, which means that they not only respirate through their gills, but they're able to go up to the surface to breathe in our atmospheric air as well. Ah, yeah. okay. I noticed 
there are a lot of small little fish in the water. Mm -hmm. Do they all get like every few seconds? <laughs> well, fortunately, that is not the case. These fishes, they have a mechanism which allows them to act somewhat like an insulator. And also, plus they are not grounded, so they are not affected by the current running through the water. And also, they have a behavioral adaptation. They can ah. swim fast away from the electric. Area. Okay, so every time the electric you try to get me now. Yeah, <laughs> swim away. <laughs> if you would like to learn more about our electric eels here in River Wonders, do drop by the Amazon flooded forest for our guided tour happening every day at 3:30 p.m. Thank you, Bunny, and that's it for Monday Monthly. See you guys here. See you. See you.